across the tri-state are trying to save a young father running out of time. News 12's Veronica Jean Seltzer is in the Alert Center tonight with this story. VJ, there is a potentially life-saving surgery. Why isn't that an option? That's what has so many of you upset. This is a young man with one shot left at life, and the insurance company his family thought they could rely on says it won't pay. A little story. It's been said. Where do I start? People are lucky to fall in love once in a lifetime. So we met in college. The luckiest? In the library. Fall more in love with their person each day, no matter the obstacles. Unconditional. That's the type of love between these Iona grads. I looked over and I saw this beautiful dark hair, long haired girl, and I said, hmm, let me see what her name is. Her name is Jackie Kukulo, and she's been married to Anthony DeLora going on seven years. We're lucky to, to have what we have. But DeLora is dying. Each day, each minute is essential. August 2020, a simple stomach ache became a cancer diagnosis. Pseudomyxoma peritoni, PMP. Surgeries and chemo didn't work. <laughs> but they never gave up, and here's why. Two years trying to have a child, about to start IVF, Kukulo became pregnant with JP, born amidst all of this. Miracle number one. Less than a year later, thankful for one baby and just focused on healing, they had a second, a new baby girl conceived during chemo. That's very, very rare. So is their last hope. A multi-organ transplant performed successfully on just one other patient in the U.S. so far. That is why we have health insurance, to help us. But it's the only thing standing in their way. Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield denied the surgery BCBS in Minnesota approved for another man, calling it investigational. Now they wait for their third miracle. If you don't have hope, I don't know what you have left. The family has raised over $100,000 online. You can see this GoFundMe right here. But they say the operation could be $500,000 to a million dollars. They should hear back now any day on their final shot at approval. That's an independent external review with the state. The insurance company says it knows this is difficult. A statement says in part, we are working closely with Mr. Delora's medical team and are conducting an external review to determine if this procedure could be proven to improve net health outcomes based on how the disease has progressed. We are also working with the Cleveland Clinic to understand what might be possible from a clinical trial perspective. Back to you guys.